Hello everybody and welcome! First of all, thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is weekly tarot reading for astrological sign Taurus for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. Guys, new week is approaching October 16th until October 22nd, 2017. As usually, I have five tarot cards for you. Plus additional tarot card which I will show a little bit later so please stay tuned. Guys, maybe you are for the very first time on my YouTube channel then take my advice. I do recommend to you go and watch also weekly tarot reading for your moon sign and for rising sign as well so you will get well-rounded type of tarot reading for new upcoming week. Okay, my dear Tauruses, Let's get started. The very first arrow card is Nasty Major Arcana the Hanged Man next to Five of Swords. Hmm, troubles in paradise. <laughs> okay, we will see. Four of Wands, Queen of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So what this story is all about. What basically you can act Spect. With this nasty major arcana, the hanged man, this is you basically, you know, hanging, hanging on. Oh, you might um, hang on, you know, being, you know, upside down. Maybe you have problem with making a decision. Maybe you are confused. Maybe you expected something else in previous days, weeks, months, or I don't know, whatever. Uh, maybe this is you still holding on tightly to your previous relationship, for some of you to a previous job. Maybe this is you being, you know, afraid, freaking out, you know, what basically you can expect from your future. You see, this is not that comfortable situation being in, uh, you know, hanging, uh, you know, uh, from the tree and your, your right hand being, you know, um, tight with this uh, snake. This is snake. So you are afraid of something. You are afraid to make a move. You are afraid to talk. You are afraid to, to go away. You are afraid to break free. You are, uh, you are afraid if you are coupled. You are simply afraid to talk about divorce. Whatever it is, you are afraid. And can you see the next tarot card? Five of Swords. This Five of Swords is also not... Uh, you know, meal, milk and honey. This is not about milk and honey. This is struggle, honey. Struggle inside of you because you are afraid to be left at alone. You are afraid uh, to put your relationship on a higher level. You are... Uh, okay, list goes on and on and on. For some of you, because... Every single story always goes vice versa. Maybe this is fear which comes from your partner. You also need to take uh, this into uh, consideration. But what about four of wands? You know already if you regularly watch my YouTube channel. Two doves in household, in a house, being together, holding each other for hands, you know, kissing each other, making a laugh. This is... This tarot card, basically, I, I, I call um, a Garden of Eden. So how you can have Garden of, of Eden uh, uh, in your weekly tarot reading spread and those two tarot cards. So something is fishy. Something is not uh, as should be. So either you need to change uh, your uh, perspective or either your partner if you're already coupled, need to, uh, need to change a perspective of basically who you are and what you want. Maybe you are in a quite good, solid uh, current relationship, but you simply do not want to be married. You do not care about wedding ring on your finger. Maybe this is it. Maybe someone is rushing you. Maybe, I don't know, could be this, could be that. Of course, this story ain't gonna resonate with all of you, but all I'm saying could happen. Can you see this final tarot card, the outcome tarot card, Ten of Pentacles? Honey, this is money. Can you see? So when you connect this tarot card and this tarot card, this is problem about money. Maybe you have problem, problem with your job, job with your financial um, 
part of your life and simply you are not in the mood to talk about, you know, pillow talk. Maybe this is it. Or maybe you are still single. Maybe you hate being single. You simply hate to, you know, to be single. So, are there some good news for you? Well, of course. Well, of course. Of course. Can you see this Queen of Cups? So, this is a person good for you. Could be Pisces. Could be Scorpio. Could be Cancer. Could be Leo Sagittarius. Could be Capricorn. Could be an Aquarian or even Libra. But still, this is not an ideal situation. And I can't lie. I mean, if you know at least little something uh, about tarot, for God's sake, you have those two tarot cards. So this, I mean, this is not the end of the world. But I can see fear inside of you. Someone wants to tide you up. Can you see? He wants to tide me up. I'm not comfortable. You know, I can't speak freely. I can't speak freely. So something is weird. If nothing else, something is weird. Hopefully you are still single. Because if you are still single, now there is a chance to meet this person who will fall in love over heels in love with you. This person could be connected uh, either with your family, with your roots, or with your job. So hopefully you are still single. Because if you are already decoupled, I can see, you know, some dispute. Something is not 100%, uh, you know, uh, ideal. But okay, on the other hand, you know, nothing and nobody is ideal. There is no such a thing as an ideal, uh, you know, circumstances or love relationship. Doesn't exist, exist believe me. Doesn't exist such a thing, uh, an ideal uh, love relationship. So all I'm saying, talk with this person, whoever this person is in your life. And there is a Scorpio who is playing with you. I don't know, intentionally or unintentionally. But this person uh, is to be found around your neighborhood quite very often, saying, oh no, I'm not here because of you. Well, he's lying. But if he's lying about this tiny detail, maybe he's lying also uh, about something else which is of greater uh, importance. So check all I'm saying, you know, check little bit. For some of you, this is period of putting a ring of your finger because this is engagement ring. Four of wands is also engagement ring. But before you put your current relationship on a higher level, consider why you are afraid what is freaking you out? What? Simply um, take my advice and if, if nothing else, think a little bit about a couple of things that I just shared with you. But if you're single, be courageous. First of all, be very courageous when it comes to your job. Can you see? This is um, increasing of your paycheck. Ten of Pentacles also could be you getting money through your spouse. Ex, current or new one. Okay, by the end of this reading, you already know that I have additional card for your additional message for new upcoming week. So let me see. Triumph! Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. No, actually, I'm not kidding. Um, triumph, honey. Triumph. Triumph of some kind. Either you will um, recognize your fears of some kind. Remember what I told you? Either you will be much more braver than before. Or either this is you putting a red flag saying, I'm not ready. And, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe I ain't gonna be ready even in 2018, I don't know, but for so many of you, this is recognizing, if nothing else, your fears and your expectations. So this is also quite very good. 
So this is you riding your horse into your future, being, you know, positive and very courageous about, you know, what is coming your way. So still good, a little bit complicated, but what to do? Our life is, you know, complicated uh, almost every single day, but still life is beautiful. So if you're single, honey, this water sign is in front of you. Can you see? He will fall in love over hills, head over hills with you. Can you see? And you will lost your mind because of Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. Yep. Okay. So basically this is all there is. If you want to book a private reading with me, do not hesitate. I'm waiting. Make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.